find integral tan inverse root x dx. Here we have to find value of this integral. For that, we are going to use the substitution method. That is, we are taking x equal to tan square u. Why we are taking substitution method is because this function is not in an integrable form. So, in order to make the function into an integrable form, we are taking x equal to tan square u. Why we are taking x equal to tan square u? u? Because if we put tan inverse of u here, we can take the function outside of the root and outside of the inverse form. Okay. That is why we are taking x equal to tan square u here. This will make our function into an integrable form easily. On differentiating with respect to x, we will get 1 equal to that is dx by dx which is 1 which is equal to 2 tan u into sec square u. That is derivative of tan square u is 2 tan u into derivative of tan u that is sec square u into du by dx that is implicit differentiation which implies dx equal to 2 tan u into sec square u du. Now we are going to substitute these things that is x equal to tan square u. Now what is dx 2 tan u sec square u du. Okay. So what will happen if you take if you take x equal to tan square u, that is tan square u will give tan inverse of tan u. What is tan inverse of tan u? That is u. So, this function will become u here. That is root of tan square u will give tan u. Tan inverse of tan u will give u. So, our integral get reduced by 2 into integral of u into tan u into sec square u du. Now we are going to apply the integration by parts method. Okay, for that we need a first function here that is we are taking u as our first function and these terms that is tan u into sec square u as our second function that is u integral of u into integral of Sorry, integral of u into this function as a whole v. That is, on applying integration by parts, we will get that is u into integral of v. Okay, this function is u and this function is v. u into integral of v minus integral of derivative of u, that is du by du into integral of v that is tan u into sec square u du into du okay that is u into integral of v minus integral of derivative of u into again integral of v into du this is the integration by parts method next step we have to find what is tan u into sec square u in this equation then in order to find that consider that is, if we put t equal to tan u, on differentiating with respect to x, we will get dt equal to sec square u du. So, integral tan u sec square u du is reduced as integral of t dt. That is, the derivative of tan u is here in this function. That is, in this integral itself, that is, derivative of tan u is sec square u du which is present here, which makes our function easily integrable. That is, this function can be reduced in the form of t dt. Now, what is integral of t dt? That is, t square by 2 plus c. What is t? Tan u. t square tan square u divided by 2 plus c. Okay. So, this function get reduced like this. Sorry. The value of the integral is tan square u by 2 plus c. Now we are substituting these values here. What is du by du which will give 1?
okay so integral of tan u into sec square u will gives tan square u by 2 minus integral of tan square u by 2 that is this integral of tan u into sec square u du tan square u by 2 into du that is du by du get cancelled and we will get 1 here as a final step we have to find what is integral of tan square u du now note that 2 is a common term here that is which is present in both of these terms so we can cancel these two and the denominator twos then what will what we will get u tan square u minus integral of now tan square u is rewritten as sec square u minus 1 what is tan square u that is by the identity which is equal to sec square u minus 1 that is we know that sec square u minus tan square u will gives 1 using that trigonometric identity tan square u can be rewritten as sec square u minus 1 now what is integral of sec square u that is tan u that is u tan square u minus u sorry minus tan u that is integral of sec square u which is tan u integral of minus 1 which is u minus of minus will becomes plus so we get the, our final result as u tan square u minus tan u plus u plus c now what is u tan u etc in terms of x that is we have to find out in next that is tan square u equal to x then tan u equal to root x what is u then tan inverse of root x so we get our tan u u and the tan square u is already present here that is which is equal to x now we have to substitute these values that is tan inverse of root x that which is u into x which is tan square u minus root x plus tan inverse of root x plus c okay now note that here tan inverse of root x is a common term so on taking it outside we will get x plus 1 into tan inverse of root x minus root x plus c this is our final answer okay